Hello and welcome to this week's Angling Vlog. This week you join us on the banks of the Belmont Estate. We're on Rowan Pool, which is the smallest pool on the complex. Yeah. And we're in search of what we're in search for, carp. Yeah, not swans. So Rowan Pool is one down from Serpentine, which is spring fed, which means the water in this pool is gin clear. The ones that you've seen me fish recently, which is the willow tree you can see behind me, that water is like chocolate and that is because it runs in from the field next to it. This pool the carp are a lot smaller, maybe one to five pound. So we're going to employ different tactics for the clear water and we're going to try a maggot feeder. So we're out today in winter, which is always uncertain, but what we're looking for is just one fish here on the bank, aren't we? Yeah. What we're going to do now is get a bait in the water and see if we can get a bite. Let's go. Let's go. So the rod's in. As you can see on the screen now, when we first arrived, there was a few fish on the end of the wind in this bottom corner. You've got water coming in from the pool above, so it's always going to be a good area. And looking at the small pool, all the cover is on this bank as well. So it does look like an area where another you know, fish would naturally spend time. Just made the first cast and we've just gone round about here, not right on top of them fish we saw but close enough to, you know, maybe draw one of them. You don't want to go right in the middle of the few that you've seen. It's just a case of sitting back and having maybe a five minute cast. I think the biggest issue today, obviously being a little lad, is keeping his concentration. If it's not a bite alarm, you know, he's got to look at that tip. So how long we actually out for remains to be seen. Up. Right, lift the rod up. Lift the rod up in here. Good boy. There we go. There we go. Big first, one. first fish of the day. Looks like a Mosasaurus. Looks like a Mosasaurus, most definitely. Put up a hard fight. Yep. And a really quick bite on those maggots. We must have only been fishing five minutes. A nice little small carp. Uh, we'll get it straight back and let's see if we can get another one, eh? Let's let him go, mate. There he goes. Think of that. Great. Although this lockdown has mean we're not on the banks of the River Ribble and the River Severn like we would want to be, this year has been a lot of learning for me. And one thing that I have found really useful has been these Preston ICS systems. That is the same stem that I had the method feeder on and the bomb and today that sleeve just comes off, you slide on the maggot feeder, got a longer hook link just down to a double maggot. Nice and simple but I must admit that has been the find of the winter so far. It just makes fishing and changing tactics so easy. You can fish a bomb, a method, a bigger method feeder or like today a maggot feeder. So the rod that we're going with today is my 11 foot Cobham Ambition rod. Got that down to an axis reel with six pound line. So at the moment it's a bit of halted play at the moment because the swans have moved onto the pool. We've been shallow and clear. Obviously you can see the maggots on the bottom so just fishing a single maggot out into the a bit deeper water here now and waiting for them to clear the spots out and then hopefully move on so you never know you know a single maggot might just pick up that fish that's moving about no adventure to the bank will be complete without a little bit of a winter picnic today's box we've got lucky ducky it's a typical box that a dad's put together in the morning <laughs> we've got some sausage rolls my little lad 
absolutely mad on apples he must go through copious amounts of apples <laughs> little dairy lead dunker for him and then we've got two of these beauties as I say a typical little picnic box that a dad puts together at six o'clock in the morning so why will the dinosaur help us catch fishes today mate you tell me because he has a big claw like like a hook so that's going to help us catch the fishies, is it? Yeah, and yeah. he has a tail, and the fish might suck on the tail, and then he brings it up. Sounds like a good tactic. We can't fail, can we? Yeah. We can fail. No, we can't. <laughs> Just sat now, waiting for the tip to go round again. Hopefully, the I swans, know. the swans have disappeared, haven't they? Yep. I'm glad that's happened. Because they were on our bait, weren't they? Yep. Like. Witchery, they were putting their head under water for the witchery, no reason. No, they weren't coming up with anything, were they? But they've no. disappeared now, so fingers crossed we can just pick up one more. Yeah. Keeping with the rest of January, of course it started raining, but you wouldn't think that this place that you can see now on screen was covered in snow a week ago. This isn't the first adventure that me and Joshua have been on. Last week we decided to get out in the car and have a go on the bigger pool on the complex. Belmont pool. So leaving the house at quarter eight in the morning, there wasn't any snow at all on the ground. By the time we'd got to the venue, set up and got the rods out, you can see on screen now, it was a very different scene. The snow on the ground, the ice forming on the pool. I knew we had very little chance of a bite, but we had a very huge chance of an epic adventure. We had plenty of cups of tea, hot chocolate, with the rods out, building a snowman, proper pop-ups a proper pop-up snowman despite our best efforts we left the rods out on method feeders no bites were coming but what a great adventure we had on the bank and that for me is what fishing is all about the adventures along the way so let's get back to the bank and just see if we can put one more carp on the bank so we do live in a generation of xboxes playstations tablets and i was the generation that went from playing like he did out in the fields you know in the mud to being a teenager where computers and all that started to come in and I'd made a point when I'd become a parent of making sure that it wasn't all about playstations and xboxes and stuff like that we do live in generations now where the streets are empty there's no kids playing out and it's a huge part of it isn't it so he might be ruining the fishing by skylining the swim but he's having fun and that's what it's all about that isn't to say though that his mum isn't going to kill me when he goes home caked in mud <laughs> does make me laugh here he comes just into the second one of the day and that didn't half wrap the tip round just give it a bit of line matey don't keep reeling keep the rod bent it's going up and down yeah he wants to go you let him go and plenty of playing in the mud today it was like a Pikachu it was like a Pikachu <laughs> and that is what it's all about playing in the mud and catching a few carp let's get it straight back two carp on the bank and one happy little boy took it into his dairy lead dunker so I'm not going to give it too much longer you see there's just that bit of rain coming down and like I said on the last shot, his hands are cold. Fingers crossed Daddy can get one just to cap the day off nicely. I hope you've enjoyed this little short vlog. It's been great to get out on the bank with the little man. We managed those two carp and unfortunately we did lose one. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Tight lines in your own fishing and I'll catch us all next week.